Hey guys. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to show you um, this other STEM project and then I'm going to tell you about one because I forgot all the supplies at school, but it's easy for, um, it'll be easy. So the next one is going to be magnets and paint. I know, I know you're probably super excited about magnets and paint. I am though. Okay, so a um, couple of things. You are going to have these. They come with lids. Let's see, yeah, there we go. All right, so they are um, chicken pot pie pans from Costco. Um, my family has been eating them, and finally I got Costco to donate a couple. So um, every class can have one of those. Um, and it's to help prevent mess, yay! Um, so let me show you what you're gonna do. And I'm gonna, I think that we'll just put everything in the office there by where we sign in. Um, and you guys can just grab stuff as you need it. Okay, sounds good. If that changes, I'll let you know. All right, so I'm going to have a stack of cardstock down there um, in a variety of colors, just whatever. You need to pick out whatever you want and um, you might want to trim this. It works a little bit better if you trim it. I'm not trimming it. It works fine still too. Um, you're gonna put tape on the back of this. I just have painter's tape at my house because I can't find any other tape. But you can use pretty much just about anything that's sticky. Um, you don't need a lot, just one. You just want to hold it in place. And putting that down in the middle, you can see that it doesn't fit nicely. So if you cut a little bit off, it'll fit all the way in here. Totally up to you. You are going to um, let your kids pick a couple of colors of paint, two or three, whatever. I wouldn't go overboard on it. Um, you're gonna make a paint picture and if you get too many colors, then it's gonna start to look ugly because the colors are gonna mix in a bad way. So two, three tops, okay? All right, so there's no really um, correct way. Just put some paint on there and then um, pick your second color. And I'm just going to kind of swirl this. I will tell you that you kind of want enough of both, if that makes sense. Like you, you don't want one color to be, um, have a lot more than the other because when you mix it, it just kind of dissolves and you don't see both colors anymore. If that makes sense. You could put polka dots in here of your colors if you want to do that. You could put it all together like I just did. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so if your student is helping you hold the bottle and squeeze dots, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Okay, no stress. You need two magnets. One has to be a pretty heavy duty magnet. I'm going to have four heavy duty magnets with these pans in the paper, okay? So we're gonna have to share unless you have one that is pretty much, it's gotta be pretty strong and you might already have that. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna share these and if you guys can just put them back so the next person can get them, that would be great. So you need one that's strong and then you need one that's not that strong and um, this is just, one that I have on my fridge. It's really not strong and it has like a little hook on it. Um, um, but so you need two. I'm going to provide four of the really strong ones and I'll put my little hook one down there because I like the way that it works. But essentially just grab another magnet. So the one that's not that strong, the weaker one is going to go in your paint. So it's in my paint. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on because, yay, um, these seal really nicely. So then when your student is holding the other magnet, because you've got to lift this off the table, you're not going to end up with paint everywhere. So you could help hold this too, you know, so whatever you want to do. 
take the other magnet, put it underneath, and move it around. Now, these are heavy magnets, and your kiddo might need some help. But you can see it's making a really cool kind of tie-dye kind of page. And I, no I noticed that it is easier. Hold on. So the way that I did it with the two colors, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's making a tie-dye pattern inside of there because I did the two colors on top of each other. So if you did drops everywhere, it might not be tie-dye, but it's still going to turn out pretty cool. Um, so you'll just mix it around and then take the magnet off, clean it off for the next kiddo um, and just let it dry. So you can totally talk about magnets. Obviously, that's the whole point of this is to talk about magnets. So have fun. STEM is all about creating. Um, so you're creating some fun art. Uh, all right. So that's this project. Again, I'll have the strong magnets and I'll have one container for each classroom um, all together and paper. So you'll just pick up what you need and take it to your class and then return it when you're done. Um, if you have your own really strong magnet, great. If not, there's four of them. So I figure we're not all going to do it on the same day, so it should work out just fine. So just return the four magnets, and then um, you'll need to just find some small magnets because, honestly, I just don't have enough small magnets, okay? So that'll be down there. Have fun. As always, take photos and share them with me because... Y'all are amazing, and the more that we share, the more that um, parents see how amazing you are. But um, take photos of everything that you do as much as you can. I love them. All right, last thing. All right, I don't have the supplies for it, so I'm just going to tell you. Those toilet paper rolls and the paper towel rolls. I am going to be cutting some of them in half, and I'm also going to be cutting some corners out of them. And every teacher is going to receive, when we get back from break, a packet of um, sticky putty, essentially, that doesn't ruin the walls and is reusable. So you're either going to make a center or you can do this as a group. So if you make a center, you would have your box with a bunch of the, the tubes in it and you would you could go ahead and put putty on the wall um, and just show the kids that they can move it and um, and that's fine or have it in a container next to, I guess. It doesn't matter. So they are going to use those tubes to make their own marble shoot. Um, and obviously they want those marbles to go from one tube to the next tube and all the way down the wall. Um and you could have like a bucket of some sort to catch the marble at the end. Um, you might want to do an example um, before you put it at a center. Just kind of um, do it on your dry erase board or whatever and um, do it. Uh, just show them that, hey, you really want that marble to get from, you know, all the way up here to all the way down here through the tubes and that you're going to have to, you know, maybe slant some of them and, um, you know, how you maybe would connect a couple. Then you really want to give them the opportunity to build their own, um, you know, and figure out what works and if they need to move something up or down or over or, you know, it's just fun for them to get to um, discover that on their own. Um, you could do it as a group and call, you know, a student up at a time to put the next piece. And then you guys can figure out what you want to adjust. Um, definitely the threes, you're going to have to do that as a group. And even maybe uh, Miss Caroline and Miss Barbie, you might even have to just build it yourself and just call one kiddo up at a time and let them drop the marble. Um, but they can see that you have to move it. You know, oh, that didn't work this time. Let's go ahead and move it. Um, 
but give them the experience to drop that marble um, and just to be able to see it happen. Um, but you're not going to be able to leave them with marbles. So um, fours and fives, you should be fine with being able to leave those marbles at a center or again, do it as a group, whatever you want to do. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about any of the STEM stuff. Um, the paper towels and stuff, after I get them cut, I'll let you guys know um, where they are so that you can grab your paper towels um, and, and toilet paper tubes and we'll just share those. We have a lot of them so um, definitely more than one class can do it at a time and um, you can have it for you know a good amount of time so we shouldn't really be it shouldn't be a struggle there um, to be able to share that. So um, all right have fun. Talk to you later.